Hi everybody, welcome to the Beauty of Pastel. My name is Bethany and for today's video demonstration, I'm going to be answering some of your questions. I love to see the comments you leave on my video lessons. Thank you so much for leaving those. I also get emails from you and also for my supporters. Thank you for sending me DMs over on my Patreon page. I appreciate all of you so, so much. A lot of those questions are similar across the board, and so I thought that this would be a fun way for you to pin this video and answer some of your questions. The first question is, why do you use an underpainting? An underpainting is a wonderful way to get a beautiful painterly effect in your pastels. Now, pastel is not chalk. Pastel is pure dried pigment with a little bit of binder to build it into stick form. And when we are layering those pastels together, the underpainting helps support those pastel layers. I like to think of my underpainting as building what I like to call a value map. Now, for those of you that have supported the Beauty of Pastel over on Patreon for a long time, know what I talk about when I speak about a value map. But the value map is establishing the lights and darks within your painting at the very beginning stage, which makes it much easier to choose a pastel from your palette box and then layer on top of the underpainting. It supports it. Oftentimes, the underpainting can also establish a color temperature. Some underpaintings can be more interpretive. Others can be what is called local color or the color that you see in your reference or if you're out plain or painting. There are lots of videos here on the Beauty of Pastel where I choose alcohol washes and acrylic ink washes, two of my favorite ways to underpaint. You can also use odorless mineral spirits or watercolor. Just make sure that you test your paper before. Some different washes can either take the grit off of your paper if you're using a sanded paper, and some washes can buckle your paper. So just test it out to make sure that yours is successful. The second question I get all the time is why do you call it painting if you're not using paint? That's a great question and one that is up for interpretation. Some artists that use pastel call it drawing, others call it painting. If your support or if your canvas or if your paper is covered with pigment or pastel, then it is considered a painting. If there's a lot of support showing through, if there's a lot of paper showing through and the, the lines are much more linear as with a pencil sketch or even charcoal, then that's considered a drawing. I like to call it painting just because I generally like to cover the support with some type of pigment. Not a lot of raw paper shows through. The third question is a little harder to answer and it is, what is your favorite brand of pastels? Honestly, I can't answer that because I haven't met a pastel that I don't love. I do really love to curate pastels across the different hardnesses of the soft pastel medium. Now, a lot of times people say, but you're calling it soft pastel, but then there's hard pastels. The medium overall is called soft pastel, but there are hard soft pastel and soft soft pastels. It's really important to have a good range of different hardnesses within your soft pastels. Hard pastels have much more binder in them and so they feel more pencil-like. Soft pastels have less binder and they are very buttery and very soft. The fine artist professional grade sets of pastels tend to be on the softer side, which is wonderful for layering and beautiful color. However, if you only have soft pastels, sometimes you can accidentally mix the colors together too much when you're blending and it will create what we call mud. It's really important to have harder pastels for your beginning stages medium soft pastels for the middle and use those very, very softest pastels for your final marks. Different hardnesses of pastel create different effects on your paper. Sometimes it has to do with edge work, which is really important. Sometimes it has to do with detail work, which is also really important. See what you already have and try to branch out and purchase and sample different brands that are a different softness and see how you can curate your very own personal set. 
Thank you so much to everyone for always being so kind and always being so positive. I appreciate all of you so much. If you're interested in learning more about the beauty of pastel, please consider visiting my Patreon page. The link is right here. If you're interested in more of these Q&As, I would love to hear from you. Please just comment below and I'll pick the best questions for next time. Thanks everybody, see you soon.